Uh, Mopar for Life here on this Monday, May 25th, 2020. Going to bring you back to my baby mini red potatoes here that I purchased from Trader Joe's. Plant date of March 27th, 2020 see them here it's been a while i think about a good three weeks since i provided a last update on these been really busy um last time i was on the channel it was i think cinco de mayo around that uh time frame but uh as you can see they are pretty tall they have grown pretty vigorously uh, they are about, I would say about a good three feet tall. Some of them are starting to flower. So that tells me they are going to be ready for maturity in a few weeks from now. These have been growing for almost, I would say, um, close to April, May. So it's close to 60 days. We are getting to that point. No major issues with the... Uh, baby red potatoes here besides you know the constant gnawing on the foliage from outside beetles and stuff like that but uh, I've been hitting these with the neem oil mixture and I've been keeping these uh, predator beetles at bay also moisture issues not, no 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 moisture issues or anything like that these have been getting I've been watering them about every three days and, um, you know, I stick my finger down in that soil and it's still pretty moist. Um, though I can feel like this is going to be needing a water, uh, watering soon. But, uh, other than that, I know in the last video I said I was going to stack boards around the base here to try to make it into like a vertical grow. But, um, you know these like i said have grown really fast and just you know with everything going on right now um, i was unable to do that so i just wanted to bring you guys to the channel and show you guys what they look like right now that way when it comes time to harvest these we can see the yield we get from uh the store-bought potatoes this is the first time i've ever you know had a garden anything like that so this is all new to me. I'm a newbie gardener, just to let you know. So if I can do this, you can definitely do this too. Um, other than that, I think, and, 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 and I have been fertilizing them every two weeks, um, just throwing down a mixture of compost. Uh, actually, not a mixture, but just some down, throwing down some steer manure inside with the soil I got there uh, also I have also thrown down some myriads of potash within the last two weeks too to get these growing I noticed some here uh, some stems here are starting to tilt as we see like in my herb garden over here these in my herb garden are starting to flower these have a plant date, and these are fingerling style potatoes. These have a plant date of March 10th. So you can see the height difference in the two different varieties um, of potatoes there. But, and these I will be harvesting in a couple days. So I'll be doing a video on that and showing you guys the yield I get from these fingerling style potatoes. Um, because some of them are really starting to get to the area where they're starting to die back as you can see they're laying down um, but uh, nonetheless this has been an update on my baby red potatoes that I purchased from Trader Joe's I didn't want to make this too long of a video but um, just merely show you guys what a newbie gardener potato grower can do you know when certain circumstances like we had around us arrive but uh so this is mopar for life saying thank you for joining me for this quick update continue to follow along 
because I really want you guys to see what these potatoes are going to look like and also the yield just from this small raised bed uh, that I got here. Um, I can't wait. The anticipation is really uh, building up in me. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you on the next update for these baby red potatoes I planted on March 27th from Trader Joe's. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Be safe, guys.